other people in the other generals in the in the in the portfolio but we also are with uh, sira um, that is the, uh, the regulatory uh, authority on the private uh, security industry and uh, quite a number of us including home affairs and uh, a whole host of other officials now we came here this uh, uh, midday uh, this follows um, uh, a number of uh, actions that uh, got taken by uh, subs together with uh, other sister departments here in Kumalanga, which itself followed uh, um, uh, reports and investigations um, uh, that uh, sprang from um, a number of pointers that uh, uh, there were issues uh, here where we are that required uh, to be investigated. Reports came from various sources and got compiled further investigation. The, the, the action was that uh, uh, the people who are uh, on the spotlight of uh, uh, all of this needed to be arrested and uh, they they then got arrested all 95 males uh, of uh, from uh, libya and they're in police custody as we speak and um, uh, that means that uh, we are then going to uh, follow uh, due processes but uh, we decided to proceed after getting this report to uh, the camp itself uh, we're from there at our back the what we have seen here inside uh, confirms what is contained in the reports uh, that were presented to us now these things point to uh, a number of issues that uh, we are in, we are uh, focusing on uh, following the arrest one it is that um, um, the, the process of uh, uh, visa ap applications uh, there were certain violations there which um, uh, are being identified and uh, uh, th that will be finalized at some point but uh, here while this uh, facility here is uh, uh, legal in terms of uh, CIRA processes but uh, on further scrutiny it has been found that uh, what is happening here is not in accordance or is not compliant uh, with uh, um, uh, the application in terms of detail. But the, the third aspect uh, is that uh, um, there are uh, a few concerns uh, that have uh, been picked up uh, in terms of the public around here. Uh, so uh, the, the issue is um, a chunk of what is contained in the report comes from the reports, investigation and so on, but uh, uh, part of this comes from uh, what we're picking up uh, from outside as concerns um, of the people around here. So going forward, um, uh, it's clear to us that uh, their being here is I illegal in the first place because uh, the application is uh, as point as uh, of violations in the process and uh, to that to that effect we would want uh, them uh, to be out of the country as soon as possible um, uh, but we will follow uh, due processes and discussions that is uh, our background that is our gist of the matter that's our conclusion Thank, Thank you, Minister. Um, colleagues, just taking into account the fact that investigations are still underway, thorough investigations are still underway, I think I just wanted to sensitize you to that. Um, I see Alex has a hand up already. Um, just by a show of hands, um, can I just see who has a question? One, two, I, I see three hands, or four. No, I'm not sure. It's five. Is the other one moving? Okay, um, so Alex, we'll start with you. All right, uh, Alex Mitchell, News 24. Just a couple straight off the bat, Minister, you said that the issues with compliance um, in terms of CIRA, exactly what are those issues? Is the training that's going on here illegal per se? Is that one of the things you guys have picked up? 
A uh, second question, and I understand investigations are ongoing, but um, is there any external issue with these Libyans? I have, have uh, with the Libyan nationals. Have you ascertained their purpose to coming to train you? Uh, is that something that you guys are looking into? And then third is, um, is there any sort of criminal action or investigation um, against the owners of this company? Um, number one, uh, the fundamental thing uh, about uh, CIRA related compliance is that um, when the application was uh, granted, which indeed is the case, um, it, it, uh, it, uh, uh, it, is, it requires certain um, compliances which must obtain uh, within the facility once uh, uh, training starts. Now the fact of the matter is that uh, um, uh, there's, a, there's a gap between uh, what was applied for and what is happening here. I won't go to details, those things uh, will will uh, um, uh, dealt with later. Now on the issue of uh, uh, Libyans, I wouldn't want to uh, say quite a lot except to say that in, they are in police cells at the moment and we are doing uh, uh, due processes but we know that they are from Libya, uh, all of them, um, and, and, and we'll hold it at that uh, for now. On the, on the issues of uh, uh, criminality, um, uh, that one, uh, you know they have been arrested obviously for for reasons but those reasons are still going to be probed further um, uh, and 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 uh, other processes will follow um Sadika from the star newspaper uh now minister we is there any likelihood that the, there are more camps like this across the country there's already word now that Baplas and with bank there might be uh, camps like this it's, it's, what is intelligence saying about all this? Well, obviously, um, uh, from where we are, um, work is continuing. Uh, they are not just to going to uh, confine, or we are not going to confine ourselves to what uh, uh, we have established now, now here. We are uh, going to um, uh, expand our um, uh, checks uh, because uh, this might be one at a pointer, uh, but if there's any other thing that we come across, uh, like you are saying, we will follow those. Minister, uh, there's been a lot of questions about why it has taken police so long uh, to be able to identify this kind of operation that is happening here, given that it's been four months now that it's been happening, and uh, many of the people are asking themselves why it really took police this long to be able to find this out. And isn't this an indictment, in a way, to the police's intelligence that you have not been able to pick this up until now? Well, um, o o the four months that you are talking about uh, include um, uh, information uh, coming to the fore for the first time by the very same uh, law enforcement agencies you say they delayed. So upon uh, coming across information, they started investigation. Now, an investigation of this nature can take a year. It can take four months. It can take whatever period that would be necessitated by the need uh, to come to facts and establish facts about this before you act. And this is exactly what happened. Upon um, picking up information, um, an investigation started and uh, it involved other um, uh, agencies and, depart and departments. And at this stage, um, uh, the conclusion was that uh, they needed to come here and arrest. And uh, I do want to say uh, we commend uh, the actions that have been taken, especially because uh, in the main, we are here to address what might be anxiety in uh, in in the in South Africa at the moment about uh, what has been uh, discovered here, uh, and to say that uh, this is this is uh, exactly what we are saying what what has been discovered here, and the people those people who are the subject are in police cells. They should go a long way 
uh, to uh, uh, bring about uh, a certainty on the matter because these people, all of them, are in custody. Now, obviously, we're going to continue with uh, necessary investigations, and we can't say how long. If they take two months, you won't say uh, why has it taken us two months uh, before. But the fact of the matter is that we are where we are, and they're certain to now in terms of what has happened. Do you want to start? Yeah. Uh, uh, what concern does it bring to have somebody in, te in terms of the safety and also bilateral with Libya? I mean, uh, being here, what is their error? Is that a concern to the government of South Africa? The second thing mm -hmm. would be uh, there's information that this uh, community. Nepal. Some people have been abused, maybe sexually and some, uh, telling that the people look like, like the Indians or Chinese, which might suit the uh, description of the particular people who have uh, maybe arrested. Uh, deportation, will it be done after such cases have been finalized or you just deport them? What, what, what I, in, in the four months from April, uh, part of what has been established are those concerns uh, from the public on issues relating to what you're saying uh, right now. So it's part of the report. Um, and, uh, and, and we've already said uh, those matters and any other violation uh, are part of uh, an investigation that, uh, uh, I mean, investigation post the arrest. So the... the